In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate MemberSonic with WP Courseware. Okay, first things first. First of all, let's take a look at what plugins I have installed. You'll notice here at the top, I've got MemberSonic Pro, and this is the current version. I also have WP Courseware, which is also our current version at the time of this video. And I've also got WP Courseware MemberSonic add-on. Okay, so now let's go take a trip over to MemberSonic dashboard. Now I've already gone through the uh, the wizard that sets up your first product with MemberSonic and then I went ahead and created two other products. So I've, I've got a total of three products now. And if we go down to training courses, you'll notice I've got four courses set up. Okay, so now what we wanna do, now that we have products and we have courses set up, we want to go and integrate the two. We want to assign courses to products. And in order to do so, we're gonna go down here to MemberSonic. It's an option under training courses. This option will only be enabled when MemberSonic add-on for WP Courseware is installed. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice here, in this column here, we've got our A, B, and C product, our three products that we created with MemberSonic. And in the next column, you'll notice that we've got courses that are available to be assigned to the product. Now the ones that are checkmarked and uh, in green text, those are the ones that are actually currently assigned to the product. So let's go and see how we actually add a course to a product. So if we click Edit Course Access Settings, we'll be able to check any one of these courses and click Save Changes. However, since this is product A, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave course A and we would click Save Changes. And yes, there is a second option here if we want to retroactively assign uh, courses to current customers. However, I'm going to cover that later on in the video. Okay, so now let's go back, make sure we've got Course C aligned with Product C, Course A aligned with Product A, and Course B aligned with Product B. Now actually what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm actually gonna go ahead and remove uh, the extra course for B because I'm going to use that for demonstration purposes for the second option uh, later in the video. So, Okay, so now we just have course B assigned with product B. Okay, so now what we want to do is we actually want to go and we want to purchase a product. We want to test this out. So what I'm going to do is open up a second browser here and what I'm going to do is purchase product B. And I do have the uh, the uh, PayPal sandbox setup, so we're just going to go ahead and purchase through uh, through the sandbox here. So go ahead and type in my password. Okay, so now let's click Pay Now. Okay, so our transaction is now complete. So now what I want to do is go over back to our other browser, and I want to click on Users. And you'll notice now we've got a new user right here, Ben Beyer, FlyPlugins.com. And now he's associated with Course B. Okay, so now I want to demonstrate how that, uh, that option that we skipped earlier works. However, in order to do so, what I need to do is I need to manually add somebody to, um, to a product. So in order to do that, I'm just going to go over to MemberSonic Dashboard, click Member Management, and we'll add Mr. Bob to product B. Go ahead and click update. And just to make sure that that did save correctly, we'll go back over here. And it looks like Bob is now enrolled in course B. Perfect. Okay, so now let's go back to training courses, member Sonic. And let's go into product B. And this time what I wanna do is I wanna add a course. Okay, so now let me explain what this function does here. And basically what this does, uh, it allows you to create a course after the fact. So in other words, if you've already got somebody who purchased product B, which was originally associated with course B, that's basically all they have is course B. But let's just say later on you decided to create extra course for B. Now anybody who's already purchased product B will only have course B. But if we use this option here and add a course, then everybody who's purchased in the past will now get enrolled into the extra course for B. So we're gonna go ahead and save our changes. 
Okay, so now if we go back to the users area, we should have both Bob and, and the other user uh, both have course B and the extra course for B. Okay, so it looks like they both were enrolled into course B and extra course for B. Okay, well that concludes this demonstration of how to integrate MemberSonic with WP Courseware. Thanks for watching.